Hey guys, what I'm doing here is I'm going for an oleum in our pantry and um, I painted it. Yes, you painted it. Nice green color. I mixed the paint though. Paint. I just uh, grabbed all of this and I got all the screws, holes, like that basically. Oops. This stuff dries really hard. We're using a, a for mudding. mudding. Yeah, mudding technique. Yeah. And this, you know, this stuff won't really stick if it's in lumps, so it's okay to leave kind of crap like that around. But it really dries hard, and you have to take 80 grit sandpaper on a palm sander just to get it level. And watch. Yeah. I got the floor sanded wherever it was level and compound was built up. Now I'm ready for the linoleum. So I already got it cut, and I'll show you. this roll. That's the excess. So these are straight edge to help me cut. All I gotta do is lay it down and uh, staple it. I'll show you that. Now that I got it all in here, I'm gonna staple it down. It's in place. I did my cut. Good. On stall, I went ahead and used a bunch of scrap pieces of tray, that's why there's gaps and stuff. But, looks good. I'm not putting trim on this wall because this is where the giant freezer is going that I got for free, so I don't want it to be, you know, away from the wall much. So we're going to build a door frame. Which way is it going? Putting floors down in the laundry room, got it painted this gray color to mix the paint. I got my valve stuck open, that way I have air coming in or otherwise it would create a vacuum. The water won't come out. Got a hose. Go all the way. It's raining outside now. To the right. Go there. That way I can watch the stream. What I'm going to do is I'm going to empty it enough where I can kind of jimmy it up a little bit so I can slide the, I think it's three eighth cents plywood underneath, which is the uh, subfloor that the linoleum is going to go on. So um, I got to put that wire in the wall. I'm going to drill a hole and run it up through a hole in the wall. No way. I don't, have, I don't know if I'm going to close this off because I don't know. It's, it's a laundry room and I don't know. I might just leave this open right here. Not sure. But I got this going on. Hopefully it'll... Yeah, she's still got a couple hundred pounds of water. <laughs> Not a couple hundred, but Heavy. Got some nice rain going on. I like that because it's been 111 today. So I like any type of light rain. <laughs> so let's show you our progress. We got the linoleum down in the kitchen. Broke our car window with it trying to get it in. It's 12 feet long. I loaded in the laundry room. I might have filmed this, not sure. Oh, great. The hot water heater is dripping. Da, da, da. Yeah. So I can cross threaded it? No, we didn't cross that. Cross threaded it pretty quick. Hot water's hooked up. As you can see here. Now there's a wall in the house. I painted that wall. <laughs> yeah, with water resistant paint. <laughs> I need a pipe wrench after that. Okay. That's what we got done. Oh yeah, I built this wonderful door. By built, I mean I, I shaved it heavily and had to put wood in there to hold the hinge. It was a terrible project. But now it works. And it hits that light bulb, which makes me angry. Mm. Yep. That tile, so we're going to use one of the bathrooms. 